So we <laughs> we did not kayak down the whole <laughs> 40 miles to get here. We had to get uh, rescued by an airboat, but we went to bed kind of late last night. And now this is day one. And it's pretty early and we're used to Ohio time, so we're one of the first ones up. We're just going to lay here. Wait till I hear other people and then head down to the kitchen. We just had breakfast and we are ready to go for the day to start. We are in the hooch taking inventory of all our stuff. Um, I'll switch this around so you can see. This is the indoor of the hooch. We tried to keep it as organized as possible, but you see all of our stuff here. You got Shad. And then we've got a couple bags we're going to bring with us today. Um, two, are they called dry bags or wet bags? <laughs> what are they? All right, so we got one dry bag. This has our diving hoods, two sets of diving gloves. And we do have a harness for a weight belt. I'm not sure. I think there's already one out there, but we brought our own as backup just to have because I hate just having a weight belt. I'd rather have the harness. It makes it easier to throw on and off. And then the other dry bag, we'll put in some of like the drone. Uh, things obviously we don't want to get wet. I have a little backpack I take out too. that has like a firearm and some camera gear, satellite phone, texting thing. But... And then, oh, we have this bag liner that we'll take with us so, like, if Kathleen brings her backpack, if it starts raining, we can just throw it in and cinch it up so our bag doesn't get soaking wet, so. Okay, so each of us have three pairs of skins, and the reason why we have the extra skins is because, well, it's kind of moist here, <laughs> and sometimes you're items don't dry out completely overnight and you don't want to be all cold the next day because you are dredging every day. So we are going to get dressed and head out. All right. So here I'm outside and got my skins on, getting ready to <laughs> suit up. And we've got all of our wetsuits laid out here. It's a nice drying station. As soon as we suit up, what I do is we're going to go down and make some lunch, pack a lunch to take out on the dredges with us. We'll be out there all day. Day one out here on the 40 mile river in Alaska using the Super 6 team dredge. Since the water level is so low this year, we're in a total new spot we've never been, and we're actually more in the middle where it's higher and the current's typically too strong to really dredge effectively. So we start in this area. We're doing a, a sweep, an arc, left to right. We found a right, the right limit where we think it's been worked before because all the material just like fell down really easy. So now we're kind of working up and then working to the left out towards the middle so we can see if we can find, you know, where the untouched ground is and ends. Um, and then we'll just start pushing upstream. But we're only in like a foot of water where I'm standing now. We're going down only about three feet, if that. And we're hitting like a clay and bedrock mix. So it's, we're able to move a lot of material, but the thing we're already having trouble with are our tailings. Uh, building up so fast to where we're having to really swing out the dredge all over the place just so that way it doesn't back up a tailing. So, a lot of work. Kathleen's there now, so let's go check out things.
one thing with this shallow water, the tender is busting their butt. One, you gotta make sure any clogs, you can clear them. Two, the rocks may get hung up in there, so you gotta identify, reach, throw it out, and then you're constantly shifting the dredge around because it's just so shallow. So, we see gold in the box. We ran for about 30 minutes, did a quick check, saw, you know, some specs. You know, it's adding up, it's looking good, we're on it. But, yeah, kicking our butt for not really getting out much this year already. So, the Kathleen's going strong still. I've been able to pull the dredge up the river a little bit, um, and then we move the other anchor down here on this side of the dredge to kind of pull because it's just too shallow to where the dredge was getting canted so all the material as you saw to shift so we've already almost ran out of gas but I just keep filling them up and stuff's going so that way she can keep dredging but when we break for lunch we're probably going to reposition at least this stake and try to move the dredge out more in the middle to give us a little bit more area and bigger depth for our tailings um, because I know Kathleen was struggling moving the dredge around when she was tending for me and I, it's, it's tough work because this is a big dredge it's heavy it's got that sump and yeah but we're on the gold so beautiful day in Alaska you know cloud cover but the sun peaks out no rain Temperature's phenomenal. The water isn't too bad at all. It's gotta be in the low 50 degree water temperature, which last year I think it was like 46 degrees. So, heck yeah, we're having a blast. All right, I just finished dredging. Um, first time this year, so I'm, I'm sore. I'm gonna be really sore tonight, but uh, it's Chad's turn now. We stopped and ate some lunch, filled up our water because you got to stay hydrated. It's very important. We'll probably each run another time and then we'll probably be out of gas. It's a good place to stop, I think. I don't want to overdo it the first day, <laughs> but I'm definitely taking the Proxen tonight. Alright, so day one's in the books. Kathleen and I dredged very well for our first time out this year in Alaska too, at that. So we are going to clean this uh, Super 6 dredge up. We're just going to pull the mats and do it that way um, just to kind of get an idea of how much gold uh, we might have caught today. See if maybe we need to move a little bit more or yeah, keep going doing what we're doing. <laughs> so, all right, let's get get to work. It's going to take a while. Yeah, that's good. little piles. Hopefully a lot more hiding. Clumps of stuff on there.
That was my bad. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to me. We put uh, all the mats into a tote, cleaned out the two side boxes and pulled the mats on those. Uh, we still have to turn it on to get all the material that's in the sump in the main sluice box, have it fed over to the one side and pretty much we, we keep the mats pulled. That way we just have a big tote, but first we gotta classify to get the tote free. Um, everything else so Kathleen's doing that now I'm gonna go work on the uh, tailings from the classification the larger rocks just pan through them real quick make sure we, we're not missing any gold and then we'll come back fire this up and get the rest of our material over All right, put the dredge back together now. Uh, still some material, but since it's just our day one, we're not worried about it. Um, obviously, when we do our last clean out, we'll make sure everything's out. But for now, we need to get the mats in and take our cons back to camp. <laughs> look over my area but I'm sure. So this is some of the gold that we got today. Um, Hopefully we get to weigh it and see what, how we did, but it's so nice to see the shiny stuff. <laughs> Your big pieces. Yeah, they were. No way. That's good. Yeah, we're gonna file for you. So that wraps up day one. So we got another gram out of that pan, so we ended up right 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 close to ten grams um, of gold for the first day. Ran about technically half day, you know, if you look at how much gas we use. So we, you know, pretty good. We'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna bust our butts a little bit more, see how much more material we can run, see if we can get more gold. So, good night. All right, day two.